suspect who was running from police is accused of killing an 83-year-old woman in a head-on collision. Investigators say the man drove the wrong way on a Snohomish County highway while trying to get away from deputies who were chasing him. Como's Jeremy Harris is live at Harborview Medical Center tonight where that suspect is now getting treatment. Jeremy, what do you know about him? Well, we know that he is here at the hospital with serious injuries. Now, police say he was injured during a pursuit, and we learned today that police have been trying to catch this guy since Wednesday, and this was at least their second chase with him. Deputies say they called off the pursuit when this guy went the wrong way up the highway just seconds before a violent crash that killed the elderly victim. It was on this stretch of State Route 525 where police say they shut down a pursuit with a suspect who was fleeing from them and went the wrong way onto the highway. But this traffic camera caught the aftermath of what happened next when the suspect's truck hit head on with another car. Eva lives behind the crash scene and says it was so loud she and her neighbors ran onto this bridge to see what happened. No, sí, she says the debris was everywhere and they knew somebody had died. The crash shut down the highway for hours as investigators began to sort out what happened. We now know the fleeing suspect is accused of kidnapping and assaulting a woman who was in his truck during the chase. She survived the crash and was taken to the hospital. The 83-year-old victim who was driving the other car died at the scene. This crash comes as Washington is about to see a major change in pursuit laws. Lawmakers just decided on loosening restrictions for when police can chase. Supporters of that law change said too many criminals were running from police. We have to change that environment where people feel emboldened and empowered and as if there's no consequence to running from the police. But critics said chases aren't worth the risk they pose. Police pursuits are like firing a 4,000 pound bullet down the street and 4,000 pound bullets kill people. As for last night's incident, the sheriff's office wouldn't talk to us on camera today, but said in a written statement that deputies terminated the pursuit before the crash. Now, the victim of the kidnapping was inside the truck during that crash. We do not know the relationship between her and the suspect, but we do know she is expected to be okay and was taken to the hospital for injuries as well. The suspect now being held in state patrol custody here at the hospital on charges of murder, vehicular assault, and driving under the influence. The next step in this case will be when he's released from the hospital and booked into the Snohomish County Jail. Reporting live at Harborview Medical Center, Jeremy Harris, Como News. New tonight, we are hearing from from family and friends of the 83-year-old woman killed in a head-on crash it happened Thursday in Linwood. Police say a kidnapping suspect was driving the wrong way when he hit her on State Route 525. Prior to that, he was chased by police. Como's Karina Vargas reports family and friends are remembering her, and they tell us she was on her way home from church when she was killed. She will be sorely missed. Uh, yeah. One of the good ones gone too early. A small memorial along State Route 525 in Linwood was placed in memory of 83-year-old Trudy Slanger, where the deadly crash happened. Washington State Patrol says a 37-year-old man is accused of driving the wrong way and hitting Trudy's car head-on. You never think it's going to be you or somebody you know, you know. And the randomness of what happened to her is... It should be frightening to everyone. Snohomish County Sheriff's deputies say they were pursuing the suspect before the crash, but called it off when he got on the highway in the wrong direction. State Patrol says the suspect was wanted in connection to a domestic violence assault and kidnapping of a 34-year-old woman who was inside his truck at the time of the crash. Larry Martin, who has known Trudy for nearly 30 years, says she was a mom, grandmother, and a great friend. Trudy's son tells me off camera her mom was headed home from church. Now Trudy's friends and family are trying to wrap their head around her being gone. Comes as a shock. I mean, we see her, see her. We used to see her almost every day. I mean, it's a fence, <laughs> okay? We'd wave at each other across the fence. And Martin tells me he and his wife had just spoken to Trudy a week ago when they went out to play bingo. You know, Trudy was in good shape. She was sharp mentally, sharp physically, um, you know, drove, did did everything, so, and fiercely independent. 
Martin tells me Trudy's family deserve justice for her death and the person responsible for the crash should be held accountable. WSP says the suspect was driving under the influence of drugs or alcohol. He now faces several charges, including second-degree murder. In Linwood, Karina Vargas, Como News.